rising sophomore at the high school for math, science, and engineering at City College. Um, this summer, my mentor was Dr. Thomas Brennan. My co-mentor was Mrs. Joan McMahon, and I study at Bronx Community College. Um, what is ALS? ALS is a rapidly progressive neurological disease that attacks the neurons responsible for controlling voluntary muscles. Um, it belongs to the group of motor neuron diseases and neurodegenerative diseases. In ALS, both the upper motor neurons and the lower motor neurons degenerate, causing a stoppage of messages to the muscles. And when this happens, the muscles are unable to function and they gradually weaken. They go through atrophy, which is they reduce, and they fasciculate. Eventually, the brain loses the ability to control voluntary movement and leading to total paralysis. When the muscle in the diaphragm and chest walls fail, the patients lose the ability to breathe without ventilator support. Most people with ALS die from respiratory failure, usually within three to five years from the onset of symptoms. However, about 10% of ALS patients survive for 10 more years. Um, key points to understanding ALS. In order to get this, you have to understand the neuron, which is the main type of cell found in the nervous system. There are about 100 billion billion of them in the brain alone. And here's a picture of what the neuron looks like. Um, you have five main parts. You have the dendrites, the soma, the axon, the myelin sheet, and the terminal buttons, all labeled here in the picture. The terminal buttons release chemicals called neurotransmitters that are sent over the synapse. The synapse is the point of connection between two neurons where the electrochemical communication between neurons take place. The myelin sheet consists of fat-containing cells that insulate the axon from electrical activity. This increases the rate of transition signals. This is why when you touch something hot, you can pull your hand away instantly because of the connection. The axon transmits information away from the soma across the synapse to other neurons. The soma is the cell body, and the dendrites conduct the electrical simulation received from other neurons to the soma. The upper motor neurons are neurons that carry the messages from the brain. The lower motor neurons are neurons that are found in the spinal cord and the bottom of the brain. Use the point. And uh, look at the slide. A motor neuron disease is a type of disease characterized by gradual degeneration and death of motor neurons. Key points continue. Atrophy is to waste away. Fasciculation is when the muscles begin to twitch uncontrollably. A neurodegenerative disease is a disorder that can be hereditary in which the neurons are degenerated until the person dies. An autosomal dominant trait is the auto, is autosomal dominant inheritance means that the gene carrying a mutation is located on one of the autosomes, which are the chromosome pairs 1 through 22. And dominant means that having a mutation in just one of the two copies of a particular gene is all it takes for the person to have a trait. Also, any children that are born from parents that contain the trait have a 50% chance of gaining the trait. Who is affected by ALS? About 20,000 Americans have ALS and about 5,000 are diagnosed each year, making this the most common neurodegenerative disease in the world. It affects all races and ethnic backgrounds, usually from ages 40 to 60, but can be developed at a later or earlier age. The, ra the ratio of people with ALS in the world is about 4 in 100,000 to 8 in 100,000. Sporadic versus familial ALS. The sporadic form of ALS is when it is developed with no previous family history or of the disease about 90% to 95% of cases are this form. So basically, it's a spontaneous occurrence of the disease. No one in your family has ever had it. It's just a random mutation in one of your genes. The familial ALS is the inherited form of the disease. Only 10% of ALS is inherited. Of these cases, a mutation is known for about 20% of the people. This means only about 2% of all patients with ALS have the SLP1 gene. In 1991, a team of researchers linked familial ALS to chromosomes 21. Two years later, the su superoxide dismutase 1 gene was identified as being associated with many cases of familial ALS. 
The, S, the copper zinc SOD1 gene is located on the long arm, which is the Q, of chromosome 21 at position 22.1. And more precisely, the SOD1 gene is located from base pair 31,953,805 to base pair 31,963,114 on chromosome 1. Copper zinc superoxide disutase 1 gene. The enzyme coded for by SOD1 carries out a very important function in cells. It removes dangerous superoxide free radicals by converting them into non harmful substances. Try to use the pointer and look at the slides. Defects in harmful, wait, defects in the action of this enzyme mean that the superoxide free radicals attack cells from the inside, causing their death. When you have, when you're aging, your aging is caused by free radicals. And basically, when you have this mutation, it's a speeding up of the uh, free radicals being built up in your cells, so it's causing you to age faster and basically die. Unfortunately, there are over 100 mutations in this gene that are linked to ALS, making the exact mutation difficult to ascertain. Um, here's a picture of the enzyme copper zinc superoxide dismutase. Um, the protein backbone, which is represented by the white ribbon, um, the crucial, it's crucial to keeping the molecule in its proper shape, and the ions that are crucial to keeping the molecule in its proper shape as well are the colored balls. These include the copper and zinc ions that help the enzyme do its job of deactivating ra um, free radicals. This summer, we did user program BLAST on the NCBI website, and BLAST is a basic local alignment search tool, and it's a search program designed to explore all of the available sequences in databases. You can use BLAST, you can BLAST a protein sequence or a nucleotide sequence, DNA. Each letter in the amino acid sequence stands for an amino acid, which includes A is alanine, R is arginine, N is asparagine, D is asparagic acid or aspartate, C is cysteine, Q is glutamine, E is glutamic acid. That's fine, you don't have to just Continue, the copper zinc superoxide dismutase 1 protein was blasted and gave these results. This is only one of the hundreds of mutations found in the SOD1 gene. This particular mutation is 154 amino acids long and can take four substitution or point mutations. Here, well, two. Here you can see that an A was changed to a B. Alanine 4 was changed to valine, which is um, the most common type of mutation. And in the second query, you can see G was changed to D. And in the third query, everything was fine, everything was normal. Here is a picture of a normal SOD1 protein. You can see here three zincs, and on the back, if you can see three zincs on the other side as well. And the mutated protein, there's one copper and one zinc, which is why this, this is mutated, this is different from the normal protein, and why it causes the cell to attack itself. A recent breakthrough in ALS research. It has become increasingly clear that problems occur not so much because SOD1 can no longer do its normal job of neutralizing free radicals, but because the mutated version has gained some new and toxic property. Some researchers believe that the mutated form of SOD1 actually creates free radicals. So before it was thought that once you have a mutation in the SOD1 gene, that it, the SOD1 enzyme that's produced loses its ability to neutralize all the free radicals, but now they believe that it actually creates the free radicals that's killing us. In an interesting